so let's discuss today about angle pain yeah many of us we know after an age it is not only after an age now the younger kids is also having this pain so what is the reason of this pain and what all solutions can we do so regarding these topics today i will be talking to you so first let's check that after an age only we are having this pain that is after 35 or 40 plus like that so what can be the reason so you may be lying down in the bed on the whole night and when you wake up in the morning hours you are feeling a pain but after 10 to 15 minutes of walking you are okay then suddenly if you are working in an office or working in home at lunch time you are sitting in a place and then you are trying to wake up again this pain is recurring and this pain will be you will be visiting a doctor it's not suddenly isn't it you will be visiting a doctor after four five or six months so what is the reason of the pain this is the case one scenario okay here let's know one main thing actually our angle joint is having a bond and this bond is supported by a fascia okay its name is plantar fascia so what is the beauty of this fascia the fascia act like a cushion cushion means actually it helps to walk help us in walking that is it acts as a medium between our foot and between the ground because of that we are able to walk so what happens is that after we know that especially the ladies and the gents the ladies their body weight keeps on varying we will not be always in the same phase right in the childhood we will be maintaining one body weight during our college days and whenever after marriage when we are becoming pregnant definitely by physiologically we have to gain at least 5 to 7 kg because we have give birth to a newborn baby so what happens is that our body weight is keeping on varying whenever our body weight is increased actually two joints are mainly affected first one mainly affected is what as you all know it is knee joint second one that is mainly affected is our angle joint so proper weight distribution is not happening on this angle joint and sometimes we know that uh, everyone is not having the same job profession isn't it some of them have to uh, even the car mechanics car workshop people what they have to do is that they have to bend their knee and angle joint in certain positions so here also what is happening equal pressure is not distributed in this facial area but excess of pressure is given in some other part of the fascia so what happens because of this wear and tear process is happening in this fascia joint and because of this wear and tear happening in the fascia there will be inflammation to the fascia this condition is known as plantar fasciitis this is one main reason of our pain so whenever this pain happens what happens and we know that many of them some of them used to wear this tight shoes um, and uh, tight footwear and all and if you are using this tight shoes tight footwear and all it is again creating the wear and tear process in this plantar fascia and next main thing is that during the night hours so how this fascia mechanism help us so during the night hours this fascia what is doing is that it is actually folded and when it is in the morning hours only it is relaxing because why it is folding is that at night time we are taking the rest because <coughs> we are not walking and as soon as when we wake up our fascia it is trying to relax it is constricted actually and this when it is trying to relax we are feeling that pain and here what we can see is that the after the 10 to 15 minutes this fascia is relaxing so when the fascia is relaxing when you are able to walk what happens this pain is gone <coughs> okay the same thing is happening sorry and how about why the pain is occurring in the kids so why the reason of the pain is occurring in the kids is that nowadays the kids they are having flat food so what is flat food flat food means usually our angle joint is having a slight bend in this area and this area does not actually fully suppress to the ground isn't it but in this case what happens is that it is fully like this so when it is like this you know 
that is we are giving an over pressure to our plantar fascia so over pressure to the plantar fascia if it is given it is again creating a wear and tear process it is again creating the pain this is a second reason okay of the pain in your ankle joint and what is the third reason of pain in your ankle joint we know that our calf muscles we have a bunch of calf muscles okay and these calf muscles are all attached just above our ankle joint to a tendon and this tendon is called Achilles tendon if you talk to many old people they will be used to tell I used to walk kilometers and kilometers uh, before why they are not able to walk now because of this overuse of this tendon what had happened is that there is actually minute tears had happened in this area and it had created and in the inflammation it is called as Achilles tendonitis so these three are the reasons whenever any person is telling you that you are they are having an ankle joint pain so <coughs> what happened when we are ignoring these conditions when we are ignoring these conditions we know that the wear and tear process when the directly the pressure has gone to the bone so when the bone the, when directly this pressure has gone to the bone the bone then what happens is that there will be some structural changes in this bone so when we take the x-ray we can see that there is a needle shaped thing occurring in the bone <coughs> this needle shaped thing occurring in the bone is called as calcaneal spur so because of this calcaneal spur you will not be able to walk and many of the old patients used to tell I cannot walk I feel that some uh, nail is stuck in my uh, knee joint no angle joint okay so what is this nail stuck feeling this nail stuck feeling is the calcaneal spur not like this if you are overusing the calcium tablet also you can develop this calcaneal spur so here I have told you the reasons let's find the solutions so what are the solutions actually first I will be telling you some exercises so what exercise what we can do that is when we are waking up early morning <coughs> okay our feet fingers so our feet what we can do that our toe and rest of our with our toe, uh, toe fingers what we can do is that let's do a simple relaxation that is just fanning okay 10 to 15 times you have to do this in upward and downward position okay this fanning the trick you have to do do it at least 10 to 15 times why you are doing this because you are actually stimulating your plantar fascia okay that is you are stimulating your fascia so after that what happens is that it will be getting a light relaxation okay then what you can do is that then next step what let's do is that after when we start the walking process here let's take a bottle a bottle filled with water then what you can do is that place that bottle in the floor and let's try to scroll it on the floor when you try to scroll it on the floor also your fascia will be relaxing and nowadays what you can do is that we all are having the silica gel isn't it silica gel in our shoes in our footwear and all that you can use so when you are using that it act like a cushion like the plantar fascia and you will not be having too much of pain so these simple tips can help you when you come to Ayurveda what we will be doing is that you can apply an oil named Panjamla Thaila okay on your feet and next main thing is that we can prepare a pottery pottery with sand heat it and you can slightly apply it on the feet okay and next main thing is let's make a pottery with boiled rice and a little salt it can also be helpful uh, when I tell this home remedies uh, don't think like that oh uh, it is okay it is cure, purely cured with these things no if it is keeping on troubling you what has happening here it is degeneration is just happening here isn't it so uh, we have to do is that visit an Ayurvedic physician and when you visit an Ayurvedic physician they will be giving you the medicines and they will be prescribing the treatment according to the condition 
so this also will be helping you to relieve from these conditions so hoping that these tips are helpful for you have a great day